Namaskar my dear friends in this video I am going to describe Taraswara Upanishad of Shukla Yajur Veda it is a Vaisnava Upanishad it is one of the 14 Vaisnavas Upanishads Om Brahaspati asked Yajin Valkya that which is called Kurukshetra is the place of the sacrifice of the devas and the spiritual seat of all beings. Therefore, where should one go in order that he may cognize Kurukshetra, the place of the sacrifice of the devas and spiritual seat of all beings, to which Yajna Valkya replied, Avimukta is Kurukshetra, the place of the sacrifice of the Devas and of the study of Brahma because it is there that Rudra initiates one into the Tarka. Brahma, when Prana, life goes out. Through this one becomes immortal and the enjoyer of moksha. Therefore, one should always be in the midst of that place, Ave Mukta, and should never leave, O revered Sir, Ave Mukta. Thus said Yajna Valkaya. Then Bhardwaja asked Yajna Valkaya, what is Tarka? What is that which causes one to cross this mundane existence? To which Yajna Valkaya replied, Om Namo Narayana is the Tarka. It should be worshipped as Chidatma. Om is a single syllable and of the nature of Atma. Nama is of two syllables and is of the nature of prakriti matter. Narayana is of five syllables and is of the nature of Prabrahma. He who knows this becomes immortal. Through Om is Brahma produced. Through Na is Vishnu produced. Through Ma is Rudra produced. Through Na is Iswara produced. Through Ra is the Anda Virat or Virat of the universe produced. Through Ya is Purusha produced. Through Na is Bhagwan Lord produced and through Ya is Paramatma produced. This Ashtakshara, eight syllables of Narayana, is the supreme and the highest Purusha. Thus is the Rig Veda with the first foot or half. That which is Om is the indestructible, the supreme and Brahma that alone should be worshipped. It is this that is of the eight subtle syllables and this becomes eight beings of eight forms. A is the first letter, U is the second, M is third, Bindu is the fourth, Nada is the fifth, Kala is the sixth, Kala Tita, that beyond Kala is the seventh and that which is beyond these is the eighth. It is called Tarka because it enables one to cross this mundane existence. 
know that Tarka alone is Brahma and it alone should be worshipped. The following verses may be quoted here from the letter A came Brahma named Jamwan the bear. From the letter U came Upendra named Hari. From the letter M came Shiva known as Hanuman. Bindu is named Isura and is Satrugna, the lord of the discus itself. Nada should be known as the great lord named Bharata and the sound of the conch itself. From Kala came the Purusha himself as Lakshmana and the bearer of the earth. Kala Tita is known as the goddess Sita herself. That which is beyond is the Paramatma named Sri Rama and is the highest Purusha. All this is the explanation of the latter Om which is the past the present and future and which is other than these which Tattva, Mantra, Varna, Color, Devata, Deity, Chandas, Meter, Arke, Kala, Shakti and Srishti, Creation. He who knows this becomes immortal. Thus is the Yajurveda with the second foot. Then Bhardwaja asked Yajna Valkaya, through what mantra is Paramatma pleased and shows his own Atma to persons? Please tell this, Yajna Valkaya replied. First mantra, Om, he who is Sri Paramatma Narayana and the Lord described by the latter A and is Jamavan the bear and Bhu Bhuva and Suva salutation to him. Second mantra He who is Paramatma Narayana and the Lord described by the letter U and is Upendra or Hari and Bhu Bhuva and Suva salutation to him. Third mantra Om he who is Sri Paramatma Narayana and the Lord described by the letter M and is of the form of Shiva or Hanuman and Bhu, Bhuva and Swaha salutation to him. Fourth mantra Om He who is Sri Paramatma Narayana the Lord of Satrugna of the form of Bindu and the Bhu, Bhu and Swaha salutation to him. Fifth mantra Om He O He who is Sri Pramatma Narayana and the Lord and his Bharata of the form of Nada and the Bhu, Bhu and Swaha salutation to him. Sixth mantra Om, he who is Sri Paramatma Narayana and the Lord and is Lakshmana of the form of Kala and the Pu, Pua and Swaha salutation to him. Seventh Mantra Om, he who is Sri Paramatma Narayana and the Lord and is Kala Tita the goddess Sita of the form of Chet and the Bhu, Bhuva and Swaha salutation to him. Eighth Mantra Om He who is Sri Paramatma Narayana and the Lord that is beyond that Kalatita is the Supreme Purusha and is the ancient Prasotama, the eternal the immaculate, the enlightened, the emancipated, the true, 
the highest bliss the endless the secondless and the all full that brahma is myself i am rama and the bhuva 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 and swaha salutation to him he who has mastered this eight fold mantra is purified by agni he is purified by vayu he is purified by the sun he is purified by shiva he is known by all the devas he attains the fruit of reciting itihasa puranas rudra mantras a hundred thousand times he who repeatedly remembers or recites the ashtakshara the eight syllabled mantra of narayana gains the fruit of the recitation of gayatri a hundred thousand times or of parnava om a myriad of times he purifies his ancestors 10 degrees above and his descendants 10 degrees below he attains the state of narayana he who knows this attains the state of narayana like the eye which sees without any obstacle the things spread in the sky the wise ever see the supreme seat of vishnu brahmana who are spiritually awake praise in diverse ways and illuminate the supreme abode of vishnu thus is the upanishad thus is the samveda with the third foot om shanti 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 let us know further explanation about this tarka sara upanishad the tarka sara upanishad sanskrit tar sar upanishad Tarsara Upanishad is a minor Upanishad of Hinduism. This Sanskrit text is classified as one of 14 Vaishnava Upanishads and a Mantra Upanishad. It is one of the 19 Upanishads attached to the Shukla Yajurveda. The text is notable for its discussion of Om for yogic meditation as tarka or that which helps one cross from mundane into spiritual world it is one of the text which mentions the om namo narayana mantra of vaishnavism the upanishad discusses the om mantra and integrates into its sound the central characters of the epic ramayana such as rama sita lakshmana hanuman bharata satrughna and jamvan it also asserts that hanuman is a manifestation of shiva the text has three chapters with the first a repeat of the first chapter of the Jabala Jabala Upanishad the second and third chapter focus on describing the om mantra it being the ultimate and highest reality brahma and its relationship to narayana vishnu just like the jabala upanishad chapter 1 of the upanishad is structured as conversation between brahaspati and yajna valkya the latter states that true kurukshetra is ave muktam a place that shiva never left and a part of varanasi banaras this place recommends the text is for all those renouncers who after having wandered places can stay in this is the place asserts the dying or departing this is the place asserts the upanishad where rudra imparts the moksha knowledge 
just when the last vital breaths of the dying are departing leading one to videha mukti this place is a spiritual seat of all living beings holy asserts the text a place to revel and not live the upanishad thereafter glorifies narayana by stating that om namo narayana is the means to cross from mundane world into spiritual world taraka om is this mantra is atma self soul asserts the text nama represents prakriti nature changing reality and narayana is the nature of parmatma supreme brahma the text for that describes how the sound fragments of the mantra om namo narayana includes brahma vishnu rudra eswara all of the universe purusha bhagwan and parmatma supreme self om is also the indestructible unchanging reality brahma states the text which alone ought to be worshiped the om mantra has eight subtle sound elements describes the upanishad a u m bindu nada kala era present time kala tata beyond present era or future and the last subtle sound element is what is beyond kala tata in chapter 2 the upanishad describes the same om mantra in terms of the characters of the hindu epic ramayana the a is the source of brahma who became jamavat from u came vishnu who became subriva from m of om mantra came shiva who manifested as hanuman states the text the bindu of om became shatrughna third brother of rama the nada became bharata bharat elder brother of rama no rama was the eldest kala resonance became lakshmana younger brother of rama the kala tita became lakshmi who manifested as goddess sita a shakti wife of lord rama and beyond all this is the last subtle part of om which is supreme self manifesting as rama the text next presents eight mantras asserting them to be a means to realize the atma these repeat the mapping of elements of om mantra to the characters of the ramayana calling rama as parmatma narayana and supreme purusha cosmic man the ancient purushottama the eternal the liberated the true the highest bliss the one without a second the mantra reciter should meditate state the text brahma is myself i am rama a mastery of this ashtaksara mantra the upanishad states is equivalent to uttering the gayatri mantra a hundred thousand times and to learning itihasa puranas and rudra mantras this is the path of inner purification this is the way to see the supreme seat of vishnu states tarasara upanishad so here ends this video thank you for watching this video namaskar my dear friend thank you